Recently, OpenAI made a significant announcement by finally defining what AGI, Artificial General Intelligence, truly means. This marks a major shift for both OpenAI and the broader AI industry. With a clear definition now in place, we can better understand AGI's purpose, its potential impact, and what it means for leading companies as they move forward. You can see here that this article discusses how Microsoft and OpenAI have a shared, secret definition for AGI. This video dives into the significant deal between Microsoft and OpenAI. A while back, Microsoft invested $10 billion in OpenAI, recognizing the rapid growth of ChatGPT and its immense potential. This investment made perfect sense given the circumstances. OpenAI required substantial funding to continue its development, and Microsoft's infrastructure was essential to support its expanding capabilities. However, this partnership wasn't just about the financial backing. An important aspect of the deal was a specific agreement between Microsoft and OpenAI. According to this agreement, Microsoft would only gain access to technology classified as pre-AGI. Understanding this is crucial because the definition of AGI, or Artificial General Intelligence, plays a key role in the scope of this collaboration. OpenAI is now working towards becoming a public company. However, they're structuring the deal a bit differently by granting Microsoft access to equity rather than traditional shares tied to future profits. Today, OpenAI published a significant update titled, Why OpenAI's Structure Must Evolve to Advance Our Mission. In this update, they explain the importance of strengthening their nonprofit organization while leveraging the success of their for-profit initiatives. Looking ahead to 2025, their focus is on ensuring the sustainability of their nonprofit efforts as they continue to pursue their mission. The conversation highlights that the world is transitioning towards building a new infrastructure for the 21st century economy. This includes energy, land use, chips, data centers, AI models, and systems. The goal is to evolve and take the next step in the mission, developing the AGI economy and ensuring it benefits humanity. Interestingly, this is the first time I've come across the term AGI economy. While it's a new phrase, it seems to refer to the idea that the future economy will heavily rely on and be shaped by AGI. Opening AI to the public is undoubtedly a challenging task, especially given the current circumstances. For instance, Elon Musk has filed a lawsuit against them, which is a significant development. This legal action adds another layer of complexity to their efforts, making it even harder for OpenAI to move forward with their plans. This situation is quite surprising. When you examine what's happening, it's clear that lawsuits can be a significant obstacle for a company trying to move forward. The rapid pace of the market makes it even more challenging. It would likely be much easier for OpenAI if they were a publicly traded company. Their valuation, currently around $150 billion, could potentially climb even higher. Imagine the impact of investors buying shares. It would naturally drive their valuation further upward. What's fascinating about this whole AGI discussion is how OpenAI seems to be redefining what AGI means while also exploring the possibility of going public. One of the most intriguing developments at OpenAI has been the dynamic between Sam Altman and Microsoft. Sam openly acknowledged the challenges in their relationship, stating, I won't pretend that there are no misalignments or challenges between us. There certainly are. This stems from the fact that Microsoft has a strong desire to maintain control over AGY, Artificial General Intelligence. On the other hand, OpenAI's motivation for collaborating with Microsoft is clear. They needed the resources and support to advance AI development. However, OpenAI is equally determined to avoid a scenario where Microsoft gains complete control over AGI, potentially leading to a situation where one company wields disproportionate power, akin to a technological dictatorship. This complex relationship highlights the ongoing tug of war between the need for collaboration and the drive to ensure that AGI remains beneficial and accessible to everyone. As Sam Altman mentioned, there have been ongoing issues between OpenAI and Microsoft, which continue to evolve as both sides navigate this delicate balance. Once again, this all goes back to Elon Musk's bold moves. He's managed to shake up the AI industry by creating a supercomputer that's not only bigger, but also much faster than the ones developed by OpenAI and Meta. 
his actions have certainly left other AI companies on edge. He went so far as to get into an argument with infrastructure executives at Microsoft, expressing his concerns that XAI was advancing faster than Microsoft. He confronted them, questioning how Elon Musk could be moving at a quicker pace than they were. This disagreement created some tension, and to understand why it's significant, we need to recognize that compute power plays a vital role in AI development. While it's not the only factor, it's a crucial part of the AI stack for these companies. In the race toward AGI, artificial general intelligence, having access to more chips allows for faster model training, quicker iterations, and the ability to correct mistakes more efficiently. This is something OpenAI found surprising. How could Elon Musk, who was two years behind them and started his efforts not long ago, be making such rapid progress? Let's delve deeper into this. At Microsoft, it seems like they're losing their grip. What's interesting is that OpenAI was requesting more compute power. But if you look closely, you'll notice that Microsoft had secured the right to block any deals OpenAI made with other cloud providers. This means that Microsoft would need to approve any arrangement before it could proceed. This situation is frustrating for OpenAI because they need access to a significant amount of compute. But Microsoft is insisting on being the sole provider, which is why OpenAI is stuck in this deal. As I mentioned earlier, keep in mind that Elon Musk is significantly increasing his GPU production. He recently tweeted that 200,000 GPUs are just a warm-up, meaning he's only getting started. When we examine the definition of AGI, it refers to an automated system capable of outperforming most individuals in performing economically valuable tasks. Originally, OpenAI provided a definition, but recently, they updated it, and the new definition differs slightly. They now say that AGI has a very specific definition. It refers to AI systems developed by OpenAI that have the potential to generate at least $100 billion in profit. This is a significant figure, but it makes sense from OpenAI's perspective. The company aims to maintain access to Microsoft's infrastructure and ongoing funding, but they also don't want Microsoft to have full control over AGI, which could lead to a situation where Microsoft essentially runs things like a dictatorship. OpenAI's goal is to retain control. I believe they're targeting an AI system capable of generating $100 billion in profit because, ideally, they want these AI systems to continue generating revenue, even if Microsoft no longer has access. Essentially, OpenAI aims to create highly autonomous systems that can function independently, enabling the company to move forward without relying on Microsoft's assistance. I believe that the definition of what constitutes the most economically valuable work is changing. In just a few years, I think A, I will be capable of performing the majority of this work, However, the real question is whether it will generate profit. Will AI be able to produce profits from its work? There will still be a need for assistance until we reach a point where AI can generate those profits on its own. Now, we can see where the $100 billion in revenue is heading. It's projected for 2029, not 2025, but we're already in 2024, and a lot can change in these five years. We've seen significant developments in AI, particularly with language models, so 2029 is shaping up to be a pivotal year. That's when OpenAI will likely have its hands fully untied, and while they might not completely dominate the market, having AGI could certainly shift the dynamics. By then, other companies might have caught up or even surpassed them. Google is already making great strides, so the competition will be fierce. It'll be fascinating to see how AGI evolves and how OpenAI progresses in the coming years. By 2029, OpenAI will likely have a web browser, humanoid robots, and voice agents, an incredibly exciting time for fans and users of their products. Honestly, it's hard to predict exactly what to expect. But one thing's for sure, the developments will be thrilling to watch as these companies continue to advance. The definition of AGI is evolving, moving from tasks involving economically valuable work to a point where AI systems can generate profits of at least $100 billion. I wonder if companies are aiming for their AI agents to autonomously generate $100 billion in profit, or if they are simply using these systems to achieve that target. Personally, I think it's the latter, where they've automated significant parts of the economy. 
and their AI agents are so advanced that they're capable of generating profits of $100 billion or more. If a company reaches this level, they could become one of the most valuable in the world. Because trust me, if they manage to automate large sectors of the economy, there's essentially no limit to what they can earn. After all, by replicating human capabilities, they can achieve profits beyond measure. And of course, let's remember that Sam Altman predicted that we might reach AGI sooner than most people expect. And when it happens, it may have less impact than anticipated. I'm curious to see if this holds true as we approach the agentic era in 2025. It will definitely be fascinating to watch how companies adapt and evolve during this time. So far, nothing has gone smoothly, but it will be interesting to see how they manage to navigate these changes, especially now that they have a new, more secretive definition of AGI. The goal is a $100 billion profit. Thanks for watching. If you're excited to learn more about this, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. More exciting content is coming soon, so stay tuned.